Hello everybody. Uh, new product time. Okay, as you know, uh, uh, ourselves at MD Mobility, we're always getting new things. We love new ideas um, and we love things that are really um, not so much out there, but things that are actually built for a real good reason um, to actually sort of enhance everybody's well-being and, and lifestyles to be honest so anyway getting back to this chair as you can see it's a beautiful leather chair we've seen these chairs you know from many in many places they've been out there quite a few years you know they're a nice swivel chair as you can see it'll go around 360 degrees um, and you're probably thinking why would we actually have this in a mobility store we'll come to that in a minute it's available in a multitude of leathers this is a Fitzroy chair by the way and the company that it's from is actually Modern Motion now we are the actual uh, agents from Modern Motion in the north of England so any dealers out there that are interested in these just give me a shout and I'll put you in, in touch with the right people to talk to so as you can see from that multitude of fabrics this is just a small sample and what we're trying to do is actually use these as they're, they're, they're actually going to be more ready available because it, as soon as you start making things in multiple different fabrics and leathers and that sort of thing obviously it, it adds time whereas we actually if we stick to a smaller range we can actually build some stock and therefore you guys don't have to wait so, so for so long but anyway come back to this chair now as i say it's the fitzroy um it's a swivel chair if you can just have a quick look with the camera when we get a two second break at this there uh, this is your, your controls now with it being electric and with it being a swivel chair of course that creates a problem because where do you put the cable when it goes around 360 degrees so what we've done with this one is we actually have a lithium battery inside it now what happens with a lithium battery in this situation is if you're sort of an average user and you're using it X amount of times per day most of the time you can get away with charging this overnight once a week because lithium batteries actually are they're, they're excellent batteries uh, they don't have a memory they don't suddenly stop and that sort of thing um, if you're actually a heavy duty user you might have to charge it overnight twice a week but i don't think you need to do it much more than that so let's come back to these controls on here i'll just press the button and see what happens I keep moving till something happens. Now that's the, not the one I want to show you first. So if I keep pressing that. Now as you know this didn't have a footstool with it. But as you can see it's suddenly starting to appear from underneath. That's quite a nice unique feature. And up your footrest goes. Now when you actually get into that position. If you want to move your headrest. Built into the headrest up here is a mechanism where... When you move it forward and let go, it automatically locks in whichever position you put it. If you go right the way forward, it goes right the way back. So lock, 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 and right the way forward. So you can actually have that pretty much anywhere that you need it. Coming back to these buttons again, you can see the backrest goes up and down. You can actually have the backrest going up and down when the chair's actually in the, in the upright position as well. So you don't have to, as you can see, I've not got to got used to these buttons yet but it's like anybody else when they get a chair after a few days you, you, you soon get there with what's what and then up it comes like so why is it different when it gets itself back into the position where it's locked repress it and bingo you've got a riser recliner chair that's the unique bit now what we've done with, uh, with these chairs is that when you get them it doesn't matter where you've got the chair facing as soon as you start to rise the chair locks itself into position so if you're actually getting out of the chair and you press back on the side it doesn't just swivel around and you don't end up in a heap in the corner so that actually is now locked yet again don't know which button does what maybe should have studied up on that a bit before I think but uh, with all the main four buttons you soon work it out down it goes repress and up comes your footrest they are wonderfully comfortable and as I say they're available in the four leather all the fabrics 
available unique to us in the, in the northeast of England. Um, and as I said, any dealers uh, in the north, uh, Scotland, Ireland, want to get in touch, I can point you in the right direction and help you out uh, with anything that you need to know. Customer-wise, please have a look on the website. They're all on there now. As I said, this is a Fitzroy. We are doing another... Um, two or three different types but what we'll do is when we actually get some 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 product to, sh to show you we'll put them on the website so that you can actually have a look uh, there's some nice sort of fireside chairs but they do have a riser in it and this sort of thing so a whole new range of uh, unique new product hope that's been all right for you uh, we'll call it a day at that um, and as soon as we get any more information or anything changes we'll put another film up thank you for your time see you soon